A minute of arc, arc minute, arc min, arc minute, or minute arc is a unit of angular measurement equal to 1 60th of 1 degree. Since 1 degree is 1 360th of a turn or complete rotation, 1 minute of arc is 1 21,600th of a turn. The nautical mile was originally defined as a minute of latitude on a hypothetical spherical Earth so the actual Earth circumference is very near 21,600 nautical miles. A minute of arc is π, 10,800 of a radian. A second of arc, arcsecond arcsec, or arcsecond is 1 60th of an arc minute, 1 3,600th of a degree, 1 1,296,000th of a turn, and pi, 648,000 about 1 206,265th of a radian. These units originated in Babylonian astronomy as sexagesimal subdivisions of the degree, they are used in fields that involve very small angles, such as astronomy, optometry, ophthalmology, optics, navigation, land surveying, and marksmanship. To express even smaller angles, standard SI prefixes can be employed, the milliarcsecond and microarcsecond for instance, are commonly used in astronomy. The number of square arc minutes in a complete sphere is 4 pi 10 800 pi 2 equals 466 560 000 pi approximately equals Display style four pi left frac ten eight hundred pi right carrot two equals frac four hundred and sixty six five hundred and sixty o o o pi approximately one hundred and forty eight million five hundred and ten thousand six hundred and sixty square arc minutes the surface area of a unit sphere in square units divided by the solid angle area subtended by a square arc minute also in square units so that the final result is a dimensionless number. The names minute and second have nothing to do with the identically named units of time minute or second. The identical names reflect the ancient Babylonian number system, based on the number 60. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Symbols and abbreviations. The standard symbol for marking the arc minute is the prime U though a single quote U is commonly used where only ASCII characters are permitted. One arc minute is thus written one foot. It is also abbreviated as arc min or ar mean or, less commonly, the prime with a circumflex over it. Carrot Display style hat the standard symbol for the arc second is the double prime U though a double quote U is commonly used where only ASCII characters are permitted. One arc second is thus written one inch. It is also abbreviated as arcsec or asec. In celestial navigation, seconds of arc are rarely used in calculations, the preference usually being for degrees, minutes and decimals of a minute, for example, written as 42 degrees 25.32 or 42 degrees 25.322. This notation has been carried over into marine GPS receivers, which normally display latitude and longitude in the latter format by default. Topic. Common examples The full moon's average apparent size is about 31 arc minutes or 0.52 degrees. An arc minute is approximately the resolution of the human eye. An arc second is approximately the angle subtended by a US dime coin 18 mm at a distance of 4 km about 2.5 miles. An arc second is also the angle subtended by an object of diameter 725.27 km at a distance of one astronomical unit, an object of diameter 45,866,916 km at one light year, 
An object of diameter 1 astronomical unit 149,597,870.7 km at a distance of 1 parsec by definition a milliseconds is about the size of a dime atop the Eiffel Tower as seen from New York City. A microarcsecond is about the size of a period at the end of a sentence in the Apollo mission manuals left on the moon as seen from Earth. A nanoarcsecond is about the size of a penny on Neptune's moon Triton as observed from Earth. Also notable examples of size in arcseconds are Hubble Space Telescope has calculational resolution of 0.05 arcseconds and actual resolution of almost 0.1 arcseconds, which is close to the diffraction limit. Crescent Venus measures between 60.2 and 66 seconds of arc. topic uses topic <inaudible> <inaudible> astronomy since antiquity the arc minute and arc second have been used in astronomy in the ecliptic coordinate system latitude beta and longitude lambda in the horizon system altitude alt and azimuth az and in the equatorial coordinate system declination delta all measured in degrees arc minutes and arc seconds the principal exception is right ascension ra in equatorial coordinates which is measured in time units of hours minutes and seconds the arcsecond is also often used to describe small astronomical angles such as the angular diameters of planets e.g. the angular diameter of Venus which varies between 10 inches and 60 inches, the proper motion of stars, the separation of components of binary star systems, and parallax, the small change of position of a star in the course of a year or of a solar system body as the Earth rotates. These small angles may also be written in milliseconds, mass, or thousandths of an arcsecond. The unit of distance, the parsec, named from the parallax of one arcsecond, was developed for such parallax measurements. It is the distance at which the mean radius of the Earth's orbit would subtend an angle of one arcsecond. The ESA Astrometric Space Probe Gaia, launched in 2013, can approximate star positions to 7 microarcseconds micro -as. .Apart from the Sun, the star with the largest angular diameter from Earth is R. Doradus, a red giant with a diameter of 0.05 arcsecond. Because of the effects of atmospheric seeing, ground-based telescopes will smear the image of a star to an angular diameter of about 0.5 arcsecond. In poor seeing conditions this increases to 1.5 arcseconds or even more. The dwarf planet Pluto has proven difficult to resolve because its angular diameter is about 0.1 arcsecond. Space telescopes are not affected by the Earth's atmosphere but are diffraction limited. For example, the Hubble Space Telescope can reach an angular size of stars down to about 0.1. Techniques exist for improving seeing on the ground. Adaptive optics, for example, can produce images around 0.05 arcsecond on a 10 meters class telescope. Topic: <laughs> Cartography. Minutes and seconds of arc are also used in cartography and navigation. At sea level, one minute of arc along the equator or a meridian, indeed any great circle, equals exactly one geographical mile along the Earth's equator, or approximately one nautical mile, 1,852 meters, 1.151 miles. A second of arc, one sixtieth of this amount, is roughly 30 meters, 98 feet. The exact distance varies along meridian arcs because the figure of the Earth is slightly oblate bulges a third of a percent at the equator. Positions are traditionally given using degrees, minutes, and seconds of arcs for latitude, the arc north or south of the equator, and for longitude, the arc east or west of the prime meridian. Any position on or above the Earth's reference ellipsoid can be precisely given with this method. However, when it is inconvenient to use base 60 for minutes and seconds, positions are frequently expressed as decimal fractional degrees to an equal amount of precision. 
Degrees given to three decimal places one one thousandth of a degree have about one quarter the precision of degrees minutes seconds one three thousand and six hundredth of a degree and specify locations within about 120 meters 390 feet. Topic: <laughs> Property cadastral surveying. Related to cartography, property boundary surveying using the meets and bounds system relies on fractions of a degree to describe property lines angles in reference to cardinal directions. A boundary meet is described with a beginning reference point, the cardinal direction north or south followed by an angle less than 90 degrees and a second cardinal direction, and a linear distance. The boundary runs the specified linear distance from the beginning point, the direction of the distance being determined by rotating the first cardinal direction the specified angle toward the second cardinal direction. For example, north 65 degrees 39 minutes 18 seconds west 85.69 feet would describe a line running from the starting point 85.69 feet in a direction 65 degrees 39 minutes 18 seconds or 65.655 degrees away from north toward the west. Topic: <laughs> Firearms. The arc minute is commonly found in the firearms industry and literature, particularly concerning the accuracy of rifles, though the industry refers to it as minute of angle MOA. It is especially popular with shooters familiar with the imperial measurement system because one MOA is subtended by a sphere with a diameter of 1.047 inches at 100 yards 2.908 centimeters at 100 meters, a traditional distance on U.S. target ranges. The subtension is linear with the distance, for example, at 500 yards, one mower is subtended by a sphere with a diameter of 5.235 inches, and at 1,000 yards one mower is subtended by a sphere with a diameter of 10.47 inches. Since many modern telescopic sights are adjustable in half, one half, quarter, one quarter, or eighth, one eighth MOA increments, also known as clicks, zeroing and adjustments are made by counting two, four, and eight clicks per MOA respectively. For example, if the point of impact is 3 inches high and 1.5 inches left of the point of aim at 100 yards which for instance could be measured by using a spotting scope with a calibrated reticle, the scope needs to be adjusted 3 mower down, and 1.5 mower right. Such adjustments are trivial when the scope's adjustment dials have a mower scale printed on them, and even figuring the right number of clicks is relatively easy on scopes that click in fractions of mower. This makes zeroing and adjustments much easier. To adjust a one-half mower scope three mower down and one. Five mower right, the scope needs to be adjusted three times two. Topic. Six clicks down and 1.5 x2. Three clicks right. To adjust a one-quarter mower scope three mower down and one. 5 mower right, the scope needs to be adjusted 3 by 4. Topic. 12 clicks down and 1.5 times 4. 6 clicks right. To adjust a 1 8 mower scope 3 mower down and 1. 5 mower right, the scope needs to be adjusted 3 by 8. Topic. 24 clicks down and 1.5 times 8 12 clicks right Another common system of measurement in firearm scopes is the milliradian or mil. Zeroing a mil-based scope is easy for users familiar with base 10 systems. The most common adjustment value in mil-based scopes is 1 tenth mil which approximates one third mower. 
To adjust a 1 tenth mil scope 0.9 mil down and 0.4 mil right, the scope needs to be adjusted 9 clicks down and 4 clicks right, which equals approximately 3 and 1.5 MOA respectively. One thing to be aware of is that some MOA scopes, including some higher end models, are calibrated such that an adjustment of 1 MOA on the scope knobs corresponds to exactly 1 inch of impact adjustment on a target at 100 yards, rather than the mathematically correct 1.047. This is commonly known as the shooter's MOA SMOA or inches per hundred yards IPHY. While the difference between one true MOA and one SMOA is less than half of an inch even at 1,000 yards, this error compounds significantly on longer range shots that may require adjustment upwards of 20 to 30 MOA to compensate for the bullet drop. If a shot requires an adjustment of 20 MOA or more, the difference between true MOA and SMOA will add up to one inch or more. In competitive target shooting, this might mean the difference between a hit and a miss. The physical group size equivalent to m minutes of arc can be calculated as follows: group size equals tan m 60 times distance. In the example previously given, for one minute of arc and substituting 3,600 inches for 100 yards, 3,600 tan 1/60th approximately equals 1.047 inches. In metric units 1 MOA at 100 m approximately equals 2.908 cm. Sometimes, a precision firearm's accuracy will be measured in MOA. This simply means that under ideal conditions i.e. no wind, match grade ammo, clean barrel, and a vice or a bencrest used to eliminate shooter error, the gun is capable of producing a group of shots whose center points center to center fit into a circle. The average diameter of circles in several groups can be subtended by that amount of arc. For example, a one mower rifle should be capable, under ideal conditions, of shooting an average one-inch groups at 100 yards. Most higher-end rifles are warranted by the manufacturer to shoot under a given mower threshold typically one mower or better with specific ammunition and no error on the shooter's part. For example, Remington's M24 sniper weapon system is required to shoot 0.8 mower or better, or be rejected. Rifle manufacturers and gun magazines often refer to this capability as sub-mower, meaning it shoots under one mower. This means that a single group of 3 to 5 shots at 100 yards, or the average of several groups, will measure less than one mower between the two furthest shots in the group, i.e. all shots fall within one mower. If larger samples are taken i.e., more shots per group then group size typically increases, however this will ultimately average out. If a rifle was truly a one mower rifle, it would be just as likely that two consecutive shots land exactly on top of each other as that they land one mower apart. For five shot groups, based on 95% confidence, a rifle that normally shoots one mower can be expected to shoot groups between 0.58 mower and 1.47 mower, although the majority of these groups will be under one mower. What this means in practice is if a rifle that shoots 1 inch groups on average at 100 yards shoots a group measuring 0.7 inches followed by a group that is 1.3 inches, this is not statistically abnormal. The metric system counterpart of the MOA is the milliradian or mil, being equal to 1 1,000th 1 of the target range, laid out on a circle that has the observer as center and the target range as radius. The number of mils on a full such circle therefore always is equal to 2 times pi times 1000, regardless the target range. Therefore, 1 mil approximately equals 0.2908 mil. This means that an object which spans 1 mil on the reticle is at a range that is in meters equal to the object's size in millimeters e.g. an object of 100 millimeters at 1 mrad is 100 meters away. So there is no conversion factor required, contrary to the MOA system. A reticle with markings hashes or dots spaced with a 1 mil apart or a fraction of a mil are collectively called a mil reticle. If the markings are round they are called mil dots. In the table below conversions from mil to metric values are exact e.g. 0.1 mil equals exactly 1 cm at 100 m, while conversions of minutes of arc to both metric and imperial values are approximate. Values in bold face are exact. All mil fractions are given in tenths, which is more convenient for practical use. 
1 foot at 100 yards equals 22,619 21,600s equals 1.04717593 in approximately equals 1.047 inches 1 foot approximately equals 0.291 mil or 2.91 cm at 100 m, approximately 30 mm at 100 m 1 mil approximately equals 3.44, so 1 tenth mil approximately equals 1 third 0.1 mil equals exactly 1 cm at 100 m, or approximately 0.36 inches at 100 yards. Topic. Human vision In humans, 2020 vision is the ability to resolve a spatial pattern separated by a visual angle of one minute of arc. A 2020 letter subtends five minutes of arc total. Topic. Materials The deviation from parallelism between two surfaces, for instance in optical engineering, is usually measured in arc minutes or arc seconds. In addition, arc seconds are sometimes used in rocking curve omega scan X-ray diffraction measurements of high-quality epitaxial thin films. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Manufacturing. Some measurement devices make use of arc minutes and arc seconds to measure angles when the object being measured is too small for direct visual inspection. For instance, a toolmaker's optical comparator will often include an option to measure in minutes and seconds. Topic: See also Degree angle section subdivisions Sexagesimal section modern usage Square minute Square second Milliradian Notes <laughs>